crowds began to arrive in the town on Saturday night, and by Sunday morning, the square had come to life. Over 54,000 visitors travelled to Thurles for the match. From early morning, the cars were arriving, jammed with supporters from all over Ireland. The Munster final is more than just a sporting occasion. It has the atmosphere of a huge festival, and the activity around the town beforehand is almost as exciting as the game itself. The Corkmen flooded the town before the Clare supporters arrived. Apart from the usual sea of red and white flags, the exuberance of their rigouts and their mascots reflected the enormous confidence of a team which has a long history of success behind it. But for Clare, who haven't won an All-Ireland since 1914, or a Munster final since 1932, it was the culmination of the enormous effort which has built up a team which they felt could make it this time and regain the provincial title they last held 46 years ago. The first half was slow. The Cork team were the first to score, but Clare weren't far behind with points. But at half time, Clare were still behind with the score at Cork five points to Clare three. Has it been a tough game so far, do you think? It has been a peculiar game, not a great game. I think tension has caught both teams particularly clear in the early minutes, as you could see when Durek tried to uh, catch that first ball from Gerald McCarthy and missed it. Uh, that, is, uh, that is not uh, Durek's form, but uh, he has steadied down quite a lot and the clear defence has steadied down too. And uh, their attack has been uh, dangerous on the few occasions they've run in. Casey, Pat O'Connor and Honan, who was doing a great deal of work. Well, now they are going to play with the wind this time. Yes, How will it be? Would you like to predict? Well, unless the wind dies down, I think Clare are there now with a very good chance of winning. Of course, we can never know how a hurling match will go. Cork will still try to rise. Uh, some stroke of bad luck or some stroke of good luck or wrong hopping ball. Uh, but I do give Clare a very good chance at this time with the wind behind them. And when Clare went into the second half playing with the wind, their supporters, though worried, had high hopes for them. But the Cork team, having moved two of their players to different positions, took control of the game fairly early on. Any hopes that the Clare forwards would gain strength as they played with the wind were quickly dashed by the power of the Cork defence. Within 11 minutes, Cork had surged ahead with a lead of five points. Though Clare came back with another two points, Cork lost no time in regaining their lead. It looked then as if Cork were fully in charge of the game, but the Clare men kept trying. Thank you, I'd also like to compliment Claire on a great victory. It was a team goal that only one team can win. And that's Cork. Thank you very much. Well, this is the second time I've ever cried coming off the field after a match. Uh, I cried after being beaten in the Munster Under 21 final. And this time I feel very dejected. It'll take me a few days to get over it. Did you feel at any stage that you were nearly there? Well, I felt um, we may have got a penalty up to the last couple of minutes and uh, we may have got a draw. We might have levelled, but off hours I felt it wasn't just some moving like. And, and, uh, 
We just weren't in the running like in the finish. Are you hopeful all the same that you might get it together again next year? Well, that's a difficult question. Like we have to go back and face the league again. And we'll have our usual critics saying that we're just a league team, not a championship team. Um, I'm sure we will like and we'll get over this phase of disappointment and, and things will settle down again. But uh, it gets harder and harder to come back. When we started out three years ago, four years ago, our aim was to win in all Ireland. You may think inside this dressing room that aim is kind of forgotten now, but I can tell you it's not forgotten. We're still a very young team, just a few fellas that uh, you know might last the pace over the next few years. But we were beaten before, and I'm telling you we're going to be back again. Father, you're terribly disappointed, I suppose, but. Do you feel they'll be able to come back again? Oh, yeah, I'd just really like to pick up where Jill left off, that this Clare team is definitely young enough. Beaten by two points today, it means that we're terribly disappointed, but it also means that we're going to come back to try again. Well, at half-time, it was 5-3. Were you hopeful at that stage? Yeah, well, it looked good enough. I suppose it looked better outside than it did in here. Obviously, we were playing Cork in the Munster final, two points down at half-time. The breeze wasn't that strong, but we were reasonably confident at half-time. Are you happy with your team's performance? I don't think I could be any happier. This team have given everything they've got, and they gave it today again. And as um, as Ger said, they are obviously they are they're young enough to come back again, and they will be back next year. To help God. Were you hopeful at any stage of that match that you made? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, it's half time, definitely, yeah, definitely. And then up to the five minutes from the end, yeah, I thought clear win. I had a few old bets with some of the lads in there, you know. Uh, the Cork TD is including Jack, the uh, Taoiseach. Uh, an old fiver with Jack on the chin, I forget what best we had, but we'll pay one another. Anyway. You'll have it again next Here's year. Here's where Sean French and the rest of them. We always bet, yeah, we always bet at the lads. Are you but I was disappointed that Clare, um, Clare had more to the play and should have won the game. That's the extraordinary thing about Clare all the years. We've had wonderful teams in different, uh, at different seasons. They've gone forward, they were beaten here, they were beaten there. But when you expected most from them, there was some hoodoo. There is a hoodoo. No matter what we say, we pretend there isn't. But there is. We never had a better chance than we had this year. And still, we weren't able to make it.